Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram and today's topic is very important, it's very critical and it is an isometropia and as per definition is concerned, the topic is very simple, the topic is very easy, it's quite easy, right? right? So let's discuss about the definition first as name implies that is an isometropia, an mean no, iso mean same and tropia or metropia mean uh, not tropia but uh, metropia or ametropia mean refractive errors. So the de definition is very clear, very easy, very simple. If my right eye has different power and left eye has different power, if my right eye has different prescription, my left eye has different prescri prescription, if my right eye has different number and left eye has different number, the unequal refraction or unequal refractive power in my or your both eyes is called an isometropia, right? It's quite simple. So that was the de definition of an isometropia. And now we will discuss about uh, the etiology of anisometropia and we have two different factors like we have congenital anisometropia and we have the acquired anisometropia right so what is congenital you know very well congenital means by birth any defect any abnormality like if we if you got any abnormality if you got any defect by birth right that is called congenital so congenital anisometropia mean I got an isometropia by birth. I just delivered from the womb of my mother and I got an isometropia. That is called congenital anisometropia, right? So uh, the reason behind that could be like if uh, the growth of my one eye is different and growth of my other eye is different, if axial length of my one eye is different and other eye is different, so it can cause congenital anisometropia, right? So that was the example of congenital anisometropia. And now we will discuss the acquired anisometropia after the birth, right? So uh, acquired mean like after the birth, if I uh, got anisometropia with any kind of reasons, any sort of reasons, like for example, uh, if I got uniocular aphakia, what is uniocular aphakia? First, aphakia mean a mean absence and fakia mean lens, right? If I if I do not have crystalline lens in my one eye right during my cataract surgery so that condition is called a fakia right uh, if i surgically removed one of my crystalline lens from my one eye right that is called a fakia right and uh, uniocular fakia mean specific in one eye i removed the crystalline crystalline lens from my one eye and that is called uniocular fakia so in uniocular fakia it can cause the acquired an isometropia right and now we'll discuss about the different classifications of an isometropia and the first class is called the absolute an isometropia and what is the definition what does it mean when i say uh, absolute an isometropia very simple if the refraction if the prescription if the power of the both eyes unequal that is called absolute an isometropia right and now we'll discuss about the relative an isometropia so in relative anisometropia as I, as we have learned in absolute anisometropia the power of the both eye is unequal right but in case of uh, relative anisometropia the power the refraction of the both eyes could be the same right but the axial length remember the axial length is different in both eyes right and when axial length is different and power could be the same right so when power is the same in both eyes so it means the image is clear in both eyes right if my one eye has plus one right and other eye has plus one as well right so power of the both eyes same right uh, or you can say the refractive error of the both eyes same so the image clarity will be the same in both eyes number one but the, what what is the difference then the axial length of the both eyes is not same Axial length of this eye is small, axial length of this eye is normal or greater, right? So if the axial length of the both eye is not same, but power is same. So as the power is the same, image on the retina can be clear, but of different or unequal size. So they do not fuse, right? So it can cause amblyopia and that is called relative amblyopia. I can repeat again because it's, it's, it's difficult. For example, relative amblyopia or sorry, relative anisometropia, I mean, so relative anisometropia is the power of the both eyes same. 
so as power of the both eye is same the image on the retina is very clear on the both retina right but as i said the axial length of the both eye is different so as the axial length of the two different eyes has different right due to difference of axial length in both eyes the image size could be unequal and that can cause the anisometropia and that type of anisometropia is called relative anisometropia and now we will discuss about the different types of the anisometropia so the first type is called the simple anisometropia right so what is the definition of simple anisometropia it's very simple for example if your one eye is normal and the other eye is uh, you can say a myopic or hyperopic right if one eye is normal and other eye is simple myopic or simple hyperopic so that is called simple hyperopic anisometropia or simple myopic anisometropia it's very simple right and the second type is called uh, the compound uh, anisometropia and what is compound anisometropia the compound anisometropia or in compound anisometropia both eyes are hyperopic or both eyes are myopic right but both eyes has unequal refractive power suppose this eye has plus one of refractive error of hypermetropia and this eye has plus four of hypermetropia so both eyes are hyperopic so this is compound but the refraction is different in both eyes it has plus one and it has plus four so the refraction refractive error is same hypermetropia but refraction or refractive power is different so that is called compound hyperopic and what about compound myopic anisometropia if one eye has minus one and other eyes has different power like minus four or five then the defective error is same myopia on this eye and myopia on this eye but it has unequal power minus one and minus four so that is called compound myopic anisometropia right and the next one is called the mixed anisometropia and what is mixed anisometropia for example if your right eye has myopia and your left eye has hypermetropia so it can so it, obviously it is difference of refraction in both eyes because one eye is myopic and other eye is hypermetropic so there is unequal refraction or unequal power in both eyes so this is also called antimetropia remember that if one eye has hypermetropia and other eye has uh, myopia and other eye has hypermetropia it is also called antimetropia or it is called uh, the mixed anisometropia and now the next type of anisometropia is simple astigmatic anisometropia now it is simple anisometropic sorry simple astigmatic anisometropia right so it's now simple anisometropic amblyopia so simple anisometropic amblyopia it means one eye is totally normal it doesn't have any reflective error right and the other one is or got cylindrical number or it could be minus cylinder or it could be plus cylinder so it is if it is in minus cylinder it is it would be simple myopic astigmatic anisometropia right and if I one eye is normal and other eye is hyperopic astigmatic right so one eye is normal and other eye has plus cylindrical number plus cylindrical prescription so that would be simple hyperopic astigmatic anisometropia right so it is simple astigmatic anisometropia because now the difference of refraction is not in spherical form but it, it is in cylindrical form right and next is compound astigmatic anisometropia right so it means one eye is one eye suppose these are two eyes right so one eye has plus cylinder and other eye has plus cylinder as well both eye has plus cylinder but it has different power it has plus one dioptric cylinder and it has plus four dioptric cylinder so you see the refractive error is same hyperopic astigmatism but power is different is plus one and plus four so it will it will be compound astigmatic anisometropia so if in both eyes minus cylinder in right eye minus cylinder in left eye so it, it would be compound 
myopic right it would be compound myopic astigmatic and isometropia like we have minor cylinder in right eye minor cylinder in left eye but minor cylinder is in minus one cylinder in right eye and minus four cylinder in left eye so it would be in myopic form now it would be compound myopic astigmatic and isometropia right and now the last but not the least is mixed a mixed astigmatic and isometropia so in mixed astigmatic and isometropia one eye will be in plus cylinder and other eye will be in minus cylinder with different power so in this condition is called mixed anisometropic anisometropia so we have discussed a lot of things regarding anisometropia we have discussed the definition of anisometropia we have discussed the etiology like acquired and congenital anisometropia we have uh, uh, classified the anisometropia we have discussed different classifications like absolute and relative anisometropia and we have discussed all the different types uh, in spherical form and in cylindrical form of anisometropia this th that lecture was quite easy and simple but in part two in next lecture we will discuss about the different case scenarios regarding the treatment or management of the anisometropia and we'll see you in the next videos